Good morning, everybody, and welcome to uh, St Mary's Church this morning, or uh, as I like to call it, my study. Uh, welcome uh, wherever you are, uh, Clitheroe, Downham, or even further away. Uh, it's good to welcome you. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And also with you. Alleluia. Christ is risen. He is risen indeed. Now you might notice I've got a congregation here, they've got the words in front of them, you haven't. But uh, I'm going to do that one again, just so you know, Alleluia, Christ is risen. He is risen indeed, is the response. And please do join in at home. Alleluia, Christ is risen. He is risen indeed. Alleluia. In a moment of silence, let us join our prayers with all of God's church on earth and in heaven. In baptism we died with Christ, so that as Christ was raised, raised from the dead, we might walk in newness of life. Let us receive new life in him, as we confess our sins in penitence and faith. Almighty God, our Heavenly Father, we have sinned against you and against our neighbour, in thought and word and deed, through negligence, through weakness, through our own deliberate fault. We are truly sorry and repent of all our sins. For the sake of your Son, Jesus Christ, who died for us, forgive us all that is past and grant that we may serve you in newness of life to the glory of your name. Amen. Almighty God, who forgives all who truly repent, have mercy upon us, pardon and deliver us from all our sins, confirm and strengthen us in all goodness and keep us in life eternal. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. The collect for Easter Sunday. Lord of all life and power, who through the mighty resurrection of your Son has overcome the old order of sin and death, to make all things new in him, grant that we, being dead to sin and alive to you in Jesus Christ, may reign with him in glory, to whom with you and the Holy Spirit be praise and honour, glory and might, now and in all eternity. Amen. We're now going to hear the Easter Gospel and uh, not being very good at technology, we are going to hear it from uh, Heidi. And uh, there are no flash uh, special effects or anything. I'm going to find it on the tablet and I've just lost it. Just to show it is all completely live. You can uh, follow us on YouTube and on Facebook, and you'll find this, uh, this video on there as well. Thank you, Heidi, for recording this. Matthew 28, verses 1 to 10. Jesus has risen. Matthew 28, verses 1 to 10. Jesus has risen. After the Sabbath at dawn, on the first day of the week, Mary Magdalene and the other Mary went to look at the tomb. There was a violent earthquake, for an angel of the Lord came down from heaven, and going to the tomb, rolled back the stone and sat on it. His appearance was like lightning, and his clothes were white as snow. The guards were so afraid of him that they shook and began to and become like dead men. The angel said to the woman, Do not be afraid, for I know that you are looking for Jesus, who was crucified. He is not here. He has risen, just as he said. Come down and see the place where he lay. Then go quickly and tell his disciples he has risen from the dead, and is going to, and is going ahead of you into Galilee. There you will see him. Now I have told you. So the women hurried away from the tomb, afraid, yet filled with joy, and ran to tell the disciples. Suddenly Jesus met them. Greetings, he said. 
They came to him, clasped his feet and worshipped him. Then Jesus said, Do not be afraid. Go, go and tell my brothers to go to Galilee. There they will see me. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. And again, in that gospel, people are told, do not be afraid. Words that we need to hear more than ever, perhaps, today. I think the word that uh, everybody uses at the moment is unprecedented. And somebody was saying that unprecedented is going to be the, the word of the year for 2020. But I'd have to say almost unprecedented. Because the first disciples were confused confounded, depressed, scattered, and isolated, just as Christians are today. And yet to all of us, the risen Christ comes and tells us, do not be afraid. Because the faith that we share here, around the world, and with all those who have died and gone to be with God, is that we will, and the Queen said it a lot better than I did, we will meet again. In that faith and hope, let us pray together. Eternal God and Heavenly Father, we thank you for the blessings of this day. We thank you for the resurrection of your Son, Jesus Christ, in whose name we pray. And we join our prayers with all of your church around the world and in heaven. Father, we thank you for the church of which we are part. We remember with thanksgiving those who have inspired and strengthened us on our Christian pilgrimage through this life. We pray for our bishops, for Julian, Jill and Philip. And we pray for our sister churches around the world. We pray especially for our brothers and sisters in Germany and in South Africa. Father, we pray for our nation. We give thanks for the work of the NHS. And we pray for all key workers who continue to work through this crisis. And Father, we pray especially for those who are isolated from us in hospitals, in care homes, by distance. Give to them your faith and your comfort. In Jesus' name. Amen. The risen Christ came and stood among his disciples and said, Peace be with you. Then they were glad when they saw the Lord. Hallelujah. The peace of the Lord be always with you. Well, we can't exchange an actual sign of peace, can't we? So you just wave at each other. Um, well, you can do. You can exchange a sign of peace at home, I suppose. Um, peace be with you all. Now we bring before God these gifts. Remind us that we are called to share in the body of Christ. What is that dog doing? <laughs> is she singing a hymn? I don't know. We didn't have any hymns planned for today, but we have uh, we have our uh, non-human congregation as well. So uh... <laughs> we present, be present, Lord Jesus Christ, our risen High Priest. And make yourself known in the breaking of bread. Amen. Amen. The Lord is here. His spirit is with us. Lift up your hearts. 
we lift them to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right to give thanks and praise. It is indeed right, our duty and our joy, always and everywhere, to give you thanks, Almighty and Eternal Father. And in these days of Easter, to celebrate with joyful hearts the memory of your wonderful works. For by the mystery of his passion, Jesus Christ, your risen Son, has conquered the powers of death and hell and restored in men and women the image of your glory. He has placed them once more in paradise and opened to them the gate of life eternal. And so, in the joy of this Passover, earth and heaven resound with gladness while angels and archangels and the powers of all creation sing forever the hymn of your glory. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of power and might, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. We praise and bless you, loving Father, through Jesus Christ our Lord. And as we obey his command, send your Holy Spirit. The broken bread and wine outpoured may be for us the body and blood of your dear Son. On the night before he died, he had supper with his friends, and taking bread, he praised you. He broke the bread, gave it to them, and said, Take, eat, this is my body, which is given for you. Do this in remembrance of me. And supper was ended. He took the cup of wine. Again, he praised you, gave it to them and said, drink this, all of you. This is my blood of the new covenant, which is shed for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this as often as you drink it in remembrance of me. So, Father, we remember all that Jesus did. In him we plead with confidence his sacrifice made once for all upon the cross. Bringing before you the bread of life and cup of salvation, we proclaim his death and resurrection until he comes in glory. Great is the mystery of faith. Christ has died. Christ is risen. Christ will come again. Lord of all life, help us to work together for that day when your kingdom comes and justice and mercy will be seen in all the earth. Look with favour on your people, gather us in your loving arms, and bring us with all the saints to feast at your table in heaven. Through Christ and with Christ and in Christ and in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all honour and glory are yours, O loving Father, forever and ever. Amen. We pray together now as Jesus taught us in the traditional form of the Lord's Prayer. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power, and the glory forever and ever. Amen. We break the bread of life, and that life is the light of the world. God here among us, light in the midst of us, bring us to life and life. God's holy gifts for God's holy people. Jesus Christ is holy. Jesus Christ is Lord, to the glory of God the Father. We do not presume to come to this, your table, merciful Lord, trusting in our own righteousness, but in your manifold and great mercies. We are not worthy so much as to gather up the crumbs under your table, but you are the same Lord, whose nature is always to have mercy. Grant us therefore, gracious Lord, so to eat the flesh of your dear Son, Jesus Christ, and to drink his blood, that our sinful bodies may be made clean by his body 
and our souls washed through his most precious blood, and that we may ever more dwell in him, and he in us. Amen. In silence, let us pray. And hold before God those closest and dearest to us. And give thanks that we are part of that great holy communion of all God's people on earth and in heaven. The body of Christ. The body of Christ. The body of Christ. The blood of Christ. The blood of Christ. We say together, we thank you, Lord, that you have fed us in this sacrament, united us with Christ, and given us a foretaste of the heavenly banquet prepared for all peoples. Amen. Before I say a final blessing, uh, this would be the bit where I'd normally do the notices and the bans. Uh, sadly, no bans because there are no marriages taking place at the moment, but we do continue to pray for those who are uh, preparing for their wedding days. Uh, no baptisms either. Uh, sadly, today would have been uh, Heidi's baptism. We were planning for that, but uh, not today, Heidi. But we do give thanks for your uh, your reading this morning. And I want to give thanks to everybody in Clitheroe who were, and Downham as well, of course, who were just helping out their neighbours uh, and being good Christians in that way. Uh, do keep an eye out for each other. Make sure you say hello if you see somebody on your government mandated piece of exercise. Uh, and just uh, share the joy of Easter. Let us pray. The God of peace you brought again from the dead, our Lord Jesus Christ, that great shepherd of the sheep, make you perfect in every good work to do his will. And the blessing of God Almighty, the Father, the Son and the Holy Spirit be among you and remain with you always. Amen. Go in peace to love and serve the Lord. In the name of Christ. Amen. Amen.